I am Dr. V. Prakash, Professor, Department of Conservative Dentistry and Aerodontics, working in Shibalaji Dental College and Hospital. Today, our topic is Mineral Trioxide Aggregate. MTA was introduced by Dr. Mahmoud Torabinajar at Loma Linda University, California, USA, in 1993. MTA has been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in the year 1998. MTA is a mixture of Portland cement, bismuth oxide, gypsum. The composition of MTA, it consists of tricalcium silicate, dicalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate, tricalcium oxide, silicate oxide, bismuth oxide. Types of MTA, we have gray MTA, white MTA. Gray MTA, it contains tetracalcium aluminophorite, but it leads to discoloration of teeth. It has a larger particle size, which is eight times greater than white MTA, according to Asgari 2006. It has a longer setting time of two hours and 45 minutes. <clears throat> Because of the larger particle size, it has greater compressive strength. White MTA, ferrous oxide is replaced by magnesium oxide to prevent tooth discoloration. Smaller particle with narrow size distribution. It has a shorter setting time of 2 hours and 20 minutes. It has less compressive strength. Manipulation of MTA. The three parts of powder with one part of either distilled water or local anesthesia or normal saline. <clears throat> Mixing time should be less than four minutes. Manipulation can be done on a paper or a glass slab using a stiff a plastic or stiff metal spatula. Powder is gradually incorporated in the liquid until a putty-like consistency is reached. The mixed material can be rolled and the spatula can be used to cut off small section. Mix is placed in the desired location using a spatula or small amalgam carrier, better is the MTA carrier. This is the MTA carrier. It is condensed lightly with a moistened cotton pellet. Applied MTA should be covered by damp cotton as moisture is required for setting. MTA has a pH of 10.2 immediately after mixing and increases to 12.5 after three hours of setting, according to Torabinajan 1995. MTA takes longer time to set, about two hours and 45 minutes. MTA being hydrophilic requires moisture to set. It expands less than 0.1%, which helps to create a barrier. Tricalcium and dicalcium silicate react with water, resulting in a colloidal gel composed of calcium oxide crystals, an amorphous structure of calcium, phosphate, silica, and chloride. Set cement composed of a rigid matrix of calcium silicate hydrate and calcium hydroxide. These hydrates form on the surface of the original calcium silicate particles and hydration gradually progresses inwardly. Bismuth oxide powder is insoluble in water and chemically inert. It has been added to make the aggregate radiopaque. Now we'll see the properties of MTA. Compressive strength. Compressive strength is equal to IRM and super EPA. Within 24 hours of mixing, that's a compressive strength of 40 MPA, which increases to 67.3 MPA after 21 days. Gray MTA exhibited greater compressive strength as compared to white MTA because of the larger particle size. Studies have shown that 4 millimeter thickness of MTA offers a better apical barrier and more resistance to displacement than a 1 millimeter thickness. Now we'll see the pH. pH initially it is 10.2 that increases to 12.5 three hours after mixing. So it has an alkaline pH. The pH of the cement rises rapidly by the release of calcium hydroxide. 
radio opacity. The mean radio opacity of MTA is 7.17 millimeter of equivalent thickness of aluminum and is easy to visualize in radiograph. Solubility. The set MTA when exposed to water releases calcium hydroxide, which might be responsible for its cementogenesis. Marginal adaptation. MTA expands during jetting, which may be the reason for its excellent sealing ability. MTA leaks significantly less than amalgam and super EVA, according to Torabinajad et al. Antibacterial antifungal properties. MTA due to its high pH have antibacterial and fungicidal property against the following types. Enterococcus fecalis, Streptococcus sanguis, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Escherichia coli, Candida albicum. Biocompatibility. The high pH of MTA results in a narrow zone of coagulation necrosis. It is biocompatible material due to the calcium hydroxide in the set stability. MTA has shown to leach calcium ions several days after the initiation of hydration and setting of the material. These calcium ions diffuse through the defects in the dentin in root canals filled with MTA and the concentration increases with time. Biocompatibility. MTA encourages differentiation and migration of heart tissue producing cells, thereby hydroxy appetite is formed on MTA surface. MTA can form biological seeds cemental and normal periodontal attachment, according to Shabang and Torabin acid. The reaction with other dental materials. MTA does not react or interfere with any other respiratory material. GEC when placed over the setting of MTA does not affect the setting of MTA. At the same time, there was no change was observed in the setting time, susceptibility to creasing of the GEC or even the shear bond strength of GAC and MTA. The use of total edge single bonding agent yields a higher bond strength to a 48 hours set MTA. Tissue regeneration. MTA is capable of activation of cementoblasts and production of cementum and also facilitate regeneration of the periodontal ligament. MTA also allows the overgrowth of periodontal ligament fibers over the surface. Hydroxy appetite formed between MTA and root canal surface according to Sarkar et al. 2005. Mineralization. MTA causes less inflammation, hyperemia and necrosis as well as thicker and faster dentinal bridge formation with good structural integrity than calcium hydroxide. MTA is better at stimulating reparative dentin formation and maintaining the integrity of the pulp. Now we'll see the clinical applications of MTA. Pulp capping, it is used for pulp capping, vital pulpotomy, it's also called as apexogenesis, apexification, root end filling, perforation repair. So these are all the uses of MTA, the clinical applications of MTA. Suppose if the inflammation is restricted to one portion, it is used for direct pulp capping. Suppose if the inflammation is to the entire pulp chamber, then pulpotomy is being done. It is also used to close for the perforation. Like it can be a perforation, perforation, root perforation. It's also used for retrograde filling material. And suppose if the tooth is vital, it helps in the continued root formation, like apexogenesis for vital root. Suppose if the pulp becomes necrotic, to form a heart tissue barrier, it is also used for apexification. It is also used for resorption cases also. So there are multiple clinical applications of MTA. Pulp capping. The MTA is used for pulp capping with reversible pulpitis because of its excellent tissue compatibility as it does not cause inflammation or necrosis of the adjacent pulp tissue. Dentinal bridge was seen as early as about one week, was consistent and increased in thickness as compared to calcium hydroxide, which had tunnel defect. As we have seen earlier, it is used for vital pulpotomy, apexogenesis. It is indicated for vital teeth with immature roots. Apexogenesis is the removal of the inflamed coronal pulp uh, and preserving the vitality of the root canal for continued root development. 
Now we'll see the steps involved in the placement of MTA. After the bleeding is controlled, MTA is placed over the exposed pulp using a MTA carrier. The material is padded into place with a moist cotton pellet. Moist cotton pellet is placed on the MTA and restored with the temporary filling material. The next visit, the temporary filling is removed and the tooth restored with a permanent restoration. Apexification. It is used to obtain an apical barrier in a tooth with a necrotic pulp with immature root development to prevent the extrusion of the obstetric material. Access opening is done under local anesthesia. The root canal is cleaned with mild circumstantial filing and by the use of irrigant. Calcium hydroxide is placed as an intracanal medi medicament to disinfect for about a week. After about one week, calcium hydroxide is removed by flushing and mild instrumentation. Root canal is dried and mixed MTA is placed using a MTA carrier. The material is pushed toward the apical region using a plugger. The apical plug should be, as we have seen earlier, should be at least four millimeter and should be confirmed radiographically so that to make sure it is not extruded outside. A moist cotton pellet is placed in the root canal. In the next visit, the root canal is obturated with gutta percha material. Thank you.